Hi, I'm Darren McAvoy from USU Forestry Extension. I'd like to introduce you to our mobile pyrolysis machine. This is um, a machine that's here in Salt Lake City. We partnered with Amaron Energy. And uh, it, it was a machine that was stationary here at this uh, facility, and we turned it into a mobile unit. We mounted it inside of this storage container, and we put wheels on it, as you can see. And, um, and this way, we can drive it around. Our goal is to process woody biomass. And the idea is that wood is mostly air and water. It's really hard to haul. You can't afford to bring it out of the woods. So we bring this machine into the woods and we can pr process this material in the woods and haul out these higher value products. Pyrolysis is not burning the wood. It's not open combustion. It's cooking the wood in the absence of oxygen at fairly high temperatures under really controlled situations. And through that, some of the wood is turned into a, a gas, and that gas is used to heat the system, so it's partially self-sustaining. About a third of that original wood material turns into a char or a charcoal material. That's a, a soil amendment we call biochar and then almost half of the material is turned into oil, bio-oil. And that's similar to bunker fuel or heating oil. It can be further refined to high value petrochemical products. So we can do pyrolysis on almost anything with carbon in it. We've done it Phragmites, which is an invasive swamp reed that's taken over large portions of the Great Salt Lake and uh, the state of Utah is very interested in controlling. Uh, we do focus a lot on pinion juniper as the BLM, for example, is already harvesting 40,000 or, or at least cutting 40,000 acres a year in Utah, pinion juniper, mostly for fire hazard reduction and for um, habitat restoration. We've done oh, about 12 different kinds of material. In fact, even uh, old tires can be pyrolyzed and make an excellent, excellent oil.